Welcome back to Sunday Nation. Uh, Governor Gretchen Whitmer is being sworn today to a second time in office. Uh, what that means is that this time around, uh, Governor Whitmer must step up to the plate and do more for black Michigan. The last four years has not been pretty, certainly not for black people in Michigan. Uh, from Benton Harbor, Detroit, Flint, uh, Black Grand Rapids, Muskegon, Pontiac, you name it. It has been a challenging last four years. Uh, from the governor's failure to appoint a cabinet-level poverty secretary, which was a major campaign promise she made at Martin Luther King Jr. Senior High School in Detroit at a gubernatorial town hall I moderated in 2018. After her, election, after her election, Governor Whitmer reneged on that major promise. Instead, she went for symbolism, appointing a poverty task force and doubling down with a do-nothing black advisory council. Uh, we are urging the governor to move beyond symbolism and do something for black people this time around. Black people are the most loyal base in the Democratic Party. They've given it all to the Demo Democratic Party. They've empowered white liberal politicians like Whitmer to advance their political careers, to even be considered as a possible presidential contender. Thanks to black voters, it is time for the governor and the Democratic legislature in Lansing to respond rightly, urgently, and to the needs of the black people of Michigan. Already the governor was off to a bad stand when she appointed uh, Southfield State Rep. Kyra Harris Bolden, who is also being sworn today to the Michigan Supreme Court. Uh, she is, in my opinion, as in the opinion of others, appears to be one of the least qualified the least experienced, uh, limited, very limited judicial and legal experience to sit on the Michigan Supreme Court as the first black woman. Her appointment, as I've written in my columns in the Detroit News, belies the essence of affirmative action. It seems to make a mockery of affirmative action. There are many qualified judges, many lawyers of distinguished background who could have been appointed to the Michigan Supreme Court black women, I mean, but Whitmer instead went for Bolden, which was purely a political appointment, uh, nakedly opportunistic. So we hope that the governor, in beginning her second term in office, will understand that the black community needs her to step up, needs her to move with all deliberate speed as in Brown v. Board of Education. This is time out for symbolism. And instead, we need more action. The governor has to show how her policies are positively impacting the people of Michigan, and especially black Michigan. We hope that what happened to Benton Harbor in the last four years won't repeat itself. We hope that the governor will continue the unfinished business in Flint that is also recovering from the international scandal of a late water crisis. We hope that the needs of Detroit will be met. We hope that the challenges in Pontiac, that the question of police misconduct in Grand Rapids, all of those issues will be addressed by a Democratic legislature, a majority Democratic legislature in Lansing, as well as a governor, a Democratic governor, who will have less to use this time around, less use of her veto pen. Thank you so much for being here again. Happy New Year, and I'll see you next week with more on Sunday Nation.